Here's another question that keeps popping up over and over again. Figured it'd be about time to make a video and it usually has something to do with removing these angle braces. They want to know if they can remove them. And I would say no, don't remove them unless you're going to provide some type of additional support. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. These braces are used to prevent this wall from moving in either direction. Remember the rafter ties in a garage are going to be used to prevent the walls from spreading outward because of the weight of the roof. Now if this was a hip roof, you might not need these. Uh, gable roof, you're probably going to need them. And again, you just be able to, you know, I'm not going to go through all the roofing, roof framing systems out there, but I think you can just apply a little bit of common sense here. You don't want this to move. You're going to need some type of structural support to prevent it from moving. And they're usually cut into the top plates also. You're usually going to have something like this is going to be cut into the top plate and uh, the rafter ceiling joists. Usually you're not going to have ceiling joists if you have this. The rafter ties are going to go on top of them. And of course, they will just connect to the middle of the wall. Now, if you have a just a two car garage that's freestanding, you might have four of these and not two as I've drawn in here. You would have one, two, three and then four. You'd have some type of a diamond shaped um, bracing system. And you can see where this right here, if this was to push out, then this will here would want to come push push in also so this once the roof is framed and everything for a gable roof and you have something like this this is going to the rafter ties are going to usually prevent this from moving in either direction which is going to stabilize this wall here's a suggestion if you want to remove the angle braces you could always put some type of a support down the center and connect it to the wall or the blocks. And I'll leave that up to you, how much strength you want to create out of this. Um, this might not provide you with a good, as good of a connection as the one on the other end. And of course you will need straps to connect the blocks, otherwise you're not going to have a nice structural connection. Simply put one strap over each of the brakes come to the other end and this would be a better connection get some framing anchors and bend the tabs over the framing plates like that It'd be a nice connection now something I'm not real happy with is all of these breaks here so um, you know I could just see where this wouldn't really be a strong connection but if you could get the nails to go all the way through to the plate here that might provide you with a nice nice uh, connection when we look at it without the brace nailed to the top plate, you can see here where these blocks could create a problem if one of them was going to crack or fall out, split, stuff like that. It just might not be the best possible place to make a connection. So with that in mind, you might want to move the brace over and of course put two of them in there. So anyway, this is just a suggestion. You could come up with your own ways to brace this off, but I think the main reason why I made the video was to point out the problems that could be created if you do remove these braces and to provide you with an idea of why they're actually installed in the first place.